Hi there, welcome back to Age of Adventures on the Utopia Cube server. Oh yeah. So, um, last episode we did step one of this cool process that I have that I'm going to generate loads of mana from. You can see my field here is, is nicely done. Um, I've added some hopper hawks here. This one's picking up wheat. Put it into this uh, chest here. Um, and then this one here is putting seeds into this top hopper. And that's because I couldn't put it under here because it couldn't put it up here. You'll see I have an agricarnation here as well, which is speeding up the growth. Uh, I have space here where I'm going to put another three. And also I'm going to put another three here as well. Um, yeah, so let's press the button and see what happens. You should only actually have to press it enough to break it. So a quick pulse should be enough. And then... That's a bit far away, but yeah, it should. Oh. There we go. Um, yeah, so it should all be good to go now. Now, nothing hoes it, so you will have to go and hoe it every now and again, which is a bit annoying. And some seeds are going to get into this chest, but... That should be fine. Um, I really could get rid of this stream here. It doesn't serve any purpose anymore. But uh, it's there so it can catch any leftovers in case there is any. I could move that back one, actually. That would work. So if we just drop down one, and if we put that, pick that up and put that in here. So that will actually have one extra, so it might pick up the ones over there now. And if I actually put it on this side instead... Oh no, there is... Uh, no, no, we could put it there. Let's put it there. Just give it all the range benefits that it could probably get. So we're going to put it there instead. And... Um, That should be fine. Uh, let's drop some wheat and make sure. Is it nighttime already? I thought we just slept. No? No, it's still a bit too far away, but uh, it's fine. That's why the water stream's there. Uh, so cool. So now we have the wheat automated, and uh, once I have enough resources, I'll create a couple more agrocarnations. Uh, I might not actually need to, because once we have... Um, once we have the mana supply up and running, because they're currently just being powered off day blooms. Uh, once the mag mana field is good and running, uh, these will run a lot faster. So it should actually run quite fast. But at the moment, just day blooms. Okay, so I'm going to go sleep and we'll be back to show you something else that I built off camera. So guys, I was over in Corge's base, um, not stealing anything, of course. Totally stealing sheep. But... Uh, <laughs> For the auto farmer. Oh, I never actually showed you the auto farmer. Um, and I saw he had this thing set up, which is similar to my auto ore thing, but he was using it with the uh, pure daisies. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. I'll take that. So I'm using it now to um, grab a load of living rock, which because I'm using a load of it over here for this build over here. I've moved some stuff around to make room for it. And... Uh, you might have noticed I am having the same frame rate issue that I'm having on BTP. And I know I didn't have this before. Um, I just did upgrade my drivers, video drivers, so that might be the cause of the problem. But uh, it is quite annoying and I do apologize for it. I'm going to definitely try and fix this up before the next episode of anything. So right, so the next... 
uh, step of this process is cows, which you might have got because that's the name of the title. Um, so we're gonna have a nice big platform here where we're gonna fill up with cows. Um, I haven't decided how big to make it yet, but uh, I suspect it's gonna be quite large. Uh, well, probably 9x9 nine nine will be fine. Um, or, yeah, the same size as this, basically. That way we can keep the pattern going along. So, I'm just going to build out a bit of a platform now and um, kind of make it match the rest of this. So we'll have steps going up to there. I might actually put steps up. Um, and then we will drop into the ground here, probably, to kind of give it a border. So it'll probably be 11 by 11. So I'm gonna, like, I need a lot of cows for this to work properly. Um, and I think... It should be okay. The The wheat farm should be able to keep up with it then. Uh, so yeah, we'll just kind of make it nice. Um, and yeah. I'll come back once I have a nice cow platform. Okay guys, so I have my little fence here. It's uh, not actually even. Uh, but it's fine for what it needs to do. Um, I built myself one of these guys, which will, if you drop wheat, will actually um, breathe some cows. So let's just drop some wheat here. Uh, it probably needs mana though. Uh, let's just dump a whole load of mana from my ring into it. And hopefully that will do. Oh, you know what it was? This thing picked it up. So I'm gonna need to put an open crate on it, which is fine because that's what I was planning on doing anyway. Yeah, so let's let's just, if we get an open crate here, I'm gonna put it here and um, got a hopper as well. So that will keep it there, and hopefully this thing can hit it from here. Weird. That should have worked. It might be too far away from there, actually. Let's... Pick this up and move it just over here so it's closer to us. So hopefully that will do it. Huh. Why won't this work? Yeah, it should be. 
And it should have a decent enough range. Let's just knock off this Hopper Hawk for now. And we'll see if it is working. There we go. It doesn't work that far away though, unfortunately. Um, so we probably want to make this whole thing a lot smaller than it actually is. A lot smaller. Or we can put it here in the middle or something like that. Yeah, we'll put it here actually. See what it does from here. I have no dirt. That is ridiculous. How can I not have any dirt on me? And put it there, and if we just grab this... No, it's not really working that far away. I thought it would have a better ha a better range than that, uh, which is pretty crap. I could probably put it above. So if I build up kind of a little platform here. Grab that block of dirt, and if we put it here, then it should work from here. Or not? Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to just make this whole field thing a lot smaller, which is fine. Um, probably half it in size and then use this half as the, the actual thing. That's really annoying. Okay, uh, let me work this around and we'll see what we'll do. Oh, no. Okay, so I've set up a little system here. Um, I haven't got the wheat automatically coming in yet, but uh, I will get that going as soon as I can. Um, so I've hooked up a little pressure plate here, so we'll always just keep two, I think. Yeah, two wheat just floating there. Uh, and then if it despawns, uh, it's going to drop another two. Um, I couldn't get it any uh, less than two. That's just the way that redstone works. Um, I suppose I could have some sort of delay or something, but it does seem to get all of these cows now, which means that we should have an automatic breeding farm going here, uh, which is perfect. Uh, it is half the size I wanted it to be, but that should be fine. Uh, now we have to somehow get the wheat from here over to here and up to here uh, so yeah I reckon I'm gonna need some ice and an elevator and stuff like that uh, I also there's not enough mana that mana is too far away to get these ones so we're gonna have to have a second mana spreader at some point once we have the power up and running sending mana to here to keep this system running. Um, on the plus side, this has opened up the fact that we need to brighten up. So we need to now have a system for, well, I'm gonna let these guys breed for a while um, because I wanna have a, more cows here than I currently have here. Uh, so let's just grab a whole load of wheat. Now the good thing is that um, 
these items shouldn't actually despawn because it's a five minute cooldown for breeding and it's a five minute despawn so hopefully they should just get each other um uh, maybe yeah it should work because they won't all be breathing at the same time so yeah um that's that uh once we have a more cows here actually i really should we're gonna need a system for pulling out the baby cows um and we're gonna do that with a mixture of regular fences and nether fences underneath uh, so they'll just drop it to a water pool and the water pool should push them down this way I think and we're gonna have a slaughter. I mean uh, a Nice lovely daycare for the baby cows <laughs> Right, so the two things I have to do I have to get the the wheat from here over to there uh, I'll probably just use vanilla mechanic uh, ice streams and then send it up a elevator of some description. Um, I have a feeling though I won't be able to do that because of this hopper hawk that's here. Ah, I wasn't here. Damn. Is this going to pick up that stuff? I think it's okay. I think it's far enough away that it can't pick it up. Cool. Right, I'm gonna go sleep and think how I'm gonna get this from here to here. Yeah, okay. Okay guys, so I've made a load of um, stuff that I could hopefully get this thing hooked up and moving. Um, so I have a load of hoppers. Um, and I'm gonna probably lead them straight up here And we can have a dropper Vader here, hopefully. Oh, can we have one here? We might be able to have one here um, Hopefully we can and I did Get some yeah, we definitely enough so I have some filter hoppers right from Ganny's nether or Ganny's End even, and uh, these things are pretty cool. They will um, allow me to filter what it gets pulled. Um, so if I just hook this one up here. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, and we'll just run one of these into here. And we are gonna put seeds into this one. So basically once once this thing is full, the seeds will start to go into the chest instead. And we want to actually just pull the seeds straight into this open crate. And we're going to put a block of lava right underneath it so that the seeds just burn up and don't lag anyone out. Uh, that should be lava. If it's not lava, I'm going to be annoyed. That one? No, oh, here, what? It's not my day. Okay, I'll get some more lava in a minute, but first let's put down a second hopper here, a filter hopper here. Filter hopper? Oh, yeah, okay, we'll pick that up in the middle. And this one is gonna be for the wheat. So that should start working. Hopefully it's not only if it's on this side. That could be annoying if it is. But should be fine. Um, it does look like it is though. That's annoying. Well, that's quite annoying. Uh, it will do though because the chest will get filled up and yeah, it will be fine. Okay, um, 
Next, we have to run a couple of droppers into the hopper here. Um, and we want to do that just here. So this line is fine, so they're going to go into this one, and we just need three of them. And then we need to, of course, power these things somehow. I don't have a comparator. Okay, let me grab lava and a comparator. So we have it up and running. Yeah. Uh, so we can hook this up here, and now uh, this thing will be over here. And uh, yeah, so we've got the drop evader there, and uh, it will just pull all the items straight out here. And hopefully, we can hook this up correctly. And. Um, just need the one more hopper, so I built two extra. So there we go. So the wheat should be coming along there now. It is. And then the wheat should be popping up here. And it is. So we are now filling this up with uh, wheat. And look at all this experience. I need to make one of those plants that can uh, drink in experience because I think that might be a way of getting some extra mana maybe just to power this bit but yeah so now we have the wheat coming along here automatically so I think the wheat is ready here so let's give it a full blast from A to B so let me just take all the wheat out of here and pick up this wheat here Oh, it's already gone. Excellent. And let's just press the button and we'll see if this thing works. And thinking of it, I probably could have just used that um, Item that, jeez, that, that aggregation is really pumping it out. Um, so let's just check this. Now there's the problem here. Uh, it is all putting into the first part of that chest. Which means that it's not pulling it out, which is annoying. So maybe if I just rotate the chest around, and we'll try it that way. So guys, that's all we have time for today, unfortunately. Um, so I'll have to get the catchment and uh, uh, pampering, yeah, pampering arena up and running afterwards. There is a ton of cows back there now. Uh, I probably have enough, so I probably got to disable. Oh, there's no wheat in there anyway. Uh, the breeding. But it does look good, so um, yeah. Until next time, I will see you later.